scary Jersey guy. I always viewed bullies as cowards who pick on those weaker than them because they know they won't fight back and also to achieve some sort of gain. There isn't a thin line between bullying and criticism, it's more night and day. The people you criticize, you have always given the opportunity to come and defend themselves, and the majority of them never do or do it under anonymous accounts. <laughs> uh, you're not going to win a lot of friends with the way you criticize others. It's something I've heard all my life. But anyone who's ever said that to me just can't grasp the idea that if I say someone is a dirtbag, it's kind of a hint I have no desire to be friends with them in the first place. As far as other people on YouTube go, I'll always try to be friendly and supportive to others, no matter how big or small the channel. I enjoy the idea of having a sense of community, so it's really not jealousy or bitterness. When I suddenly stop talking to people or defending them when drama comes knocking, it's just that I see it and I call it what it is. B.S. P.S. I love your ending tune for this one. I actually just uploaded a Journey to Silius hack uh, like an hour ago. Journey to Silius is a great game. Underrated NES game. Uh, one of the best soundtracks, I would say, you know, uh, for a game on the NES. Love that soundtrack and I love that uh, song that I play often in the outros. Yeah, uh, talking about the thin line between, you know, uh, bullies and critics. Uh, I could see why many people that I criticize would, you know, try to cast me as a bully. I could see that. And like I said before, that's a that's a great defense, you know. So, you know, give them a little hand clap for that. But I, I think it's on people like me that are critics at heart and also, you know, humorist, of course, and everything. Uh, it, it's on us to try to do our best to try to hear a lot of these people out, the objects of our criticism, you know. And I remember uh, Abed Eric and Wood, and it seems like there was a couple others that came by the channel. Uh, Metal Jesus just stopped in for like a second, then he was like, whew, I'm out of here. Uh, but if anyone stops by the channel, Scary Jersey Guy, okay? If anybody stops by the channel, I feel that uh, I give them as much respect as I can, you know? I try to, unless they're just uh, going to come by and actually just be uh, hateful towards me. Because if I have a point of criticism, if I, let's say, I criticize uh, their e-bagging, or if I think maybe they're off base on the video, or they're being manipulative to their fans or something like that, uh, various points of criticism that I've you know levied at a lot of these people, um, they should feel like they can come here and actually defend themselves on these points. Okay, uh, and you talk about people coming here not as themselves. Yeah, you know, it, that's a big issue. And sometimes I'll tell people like, hey, you know what? Just come back as who you are. Come back as who you are, you know. And I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that if they don't want to come back, it's maybe they don't have an answer, a good answer for a lot of criticism. 